Tommy, the, the league opener is, is nearly upon us. How excited are you for this year's derby? Yeah, really excited. Um, there always is that uh, sense of anticipation when your league campaign starts. You know, it's the you know the bread and butter, the the, the main competition for us. Um, players always get that extra you know bit of special feeling when the you know when the league eventually starts. Coaches, I think, are the same, and fans are probably the same. And the fact that we've been able to increase the number of fans coming, you know, should make it uh, a really special night. And obviously, they add it, um, you know, a bit of spice to all. Is obviously we've got um, you know our United, our closest rivals, uh, as derby game uh, on TV, uh, night game uh, as well. We have to wait the Monday, unfortunately, but um, it's it's all set up for a, hopefully a great start. You obviously know a bit about this derby fixture, but have, have you been picking up bits from people around the club and fans that you'll meet out and about? Yeah, just how much this means. James and um, you know has been telling me, and, and Rory has has mentioned about. I've, I've um, you know they don't happen. They don't haven't happened that often, and obviously in recent years, and and um, so they, they are going. That is going to be special. Uh, that is going to be a a, a night that uh, the fans will be hoping we can turn up and, and win and, and obviously I'll be open that as well um, so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it I've, I've always enjoyed you know um, derby games it was when I was at St Johnson the two Dundee clubs I always used to say it wasn't a derby game but um, you know always enjoyed those games and um, hopefully um, you know we can you know get three points and get off to a really good start and the fact that it you know if you can beat their I think it gives the fans that wee bit extra in terms of bragging rights uh, till we play them again. Obviously, the the capacity in the crowd is is out with our hands in terms of it's determined by uh, the local authority. Would that be a help to the team the fact it's only our fans in, or does it is it a bit of a shame because we I, haven't been able to I, get the other side in that adds to that? I think at all? ideally <clears throat> would have liked more fans in, but obviously understand that there's a cap on that. And if we were allowed more fans in, it would have been nice to see, say, four or five hundred air fans, um, you know, to, to be at the game. It, it would add to the atmosphere. But um, you know, first and foremost, we've got to um, obviously abide by the um, you know what's been set out in terms of the numbers. And the fact I think it almost matches how many season ticket holders we have. I think it would have been it's the right decision that we've limited it um, to our season ticket holders and our own fans. Um, because all right, if you take five hundred off it, and five hundred our fans can't get in, I mean that would be totally the wrong thing to do. So, ideally, in a perfect world, I would like you know as many fans in as possible, and as many air fans in as possible as well, because that would have been a cracking atmosphere. But uh, I'm just pleased that we can look after our own fans, and and they'll come and you know get right behind the team. We're going to have a, a new addition to the squad by the time Monday comes around. What, what can you tell us about our, our new attacker? Well, Roman uh, Borelli is a uh, young striker that uh, obviously Paul Stevenson brought him to my attention. We've you know, uh, watched him, got good reports on him. Um, he's quick, um, strong, decent in front of goal, um, you know, will get goals, but uh, will stretch teams as well. And um, you know he he should be you know subject to international clearance, be okay to be added to the squad on uh, on on Monday night, um, and we're still working on another striker as well. Um, so that 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 won't be the end of our business. Um, but we just thought that um, the opportunity to get a good hungry young striker in as well would would add to the squad. How's the the rest of the squad looking fitness wise going into the derby? Good. Um, I say Scott Robinson has trained today but won't be available for Monday and Rory is making good progress. And young Thomas Brindley's um, the only other in this injury in the in the senior squad. Um, everybody else is fit. They're all round to go. They all can't wait. It's a, thing, a bit of a shame that we have to wait the Monday night. Um, it would be nice to play on, on, on Sunday or Saturday. Um, but, um, you know, I think We've, we've done all the work, we've got one more training session to go um, and we're looking forward to the game and, and the fact that it's a derby game, first league game of the season, under lights as well at night time, uh, I think it's going to be a special occasion, I think it's on TV as well, so it's going to be a special occasion.